students in this session you are going to learn chapter 7 python functions content of this session is parameter functions function arguments as in the previous video you have learned what is user defined function and built in function so here you are going to learn the parameter functions and the function arguments passing parameters in functions in the user defined function within the, within the bracket you are going to give the parameters so while we are calling the function we have to call with the parameter values you learned this in the previous video here there is a difference between arguments and parameters we often use the terms parameters and arguments interchangeably however there is a slight difference between them. Parameters are the variables used in the function definition, whereas arguments are the values we pass to the function parameters. Param parameters are the variables used in the function definitions, whereas arguments are the values we pass to the function parameters. What is that? So this is parameters and this is arguments is it clear children again i'll tell you arguments with the definition is parameters arguments with the function call is arguments the values in the function call is arguments so when the function is called with the parameters it can be of four types Required arguments, keyword arguments, default arguments, variable length arguments. We will see one by one with an example. So, function arguments of four types. First one is required arguments. Required arguments are the arguments passed to a function in correct positional order. Here, the number of arguments in the function call should match exactly with the function definition. You need at least one parameter to prevent syntax error to get the required output. Here, there is a function print string. One word is given, one line is given inside the function. Example, required arguments. Then, print str return. Up to this it is function definition. Here they are calling the function but in the function there is no arguments passed. So it will say an error. So here the function is given in the book it is called without the function parameters okay the function is print string with two parameters um, one line is inside the function is required parameters and we are printing str1 and str2 okay if we call the function without parameters for example it will say error because the argument is required can you see arguments are missing so print string function name followed by two parameters i am giving us 12 and welcome. One is an integer, another one is a string. Now it is taking first one as 12, second one as welcome. So, first example required, then str1, 12, then str2, welcome. If we change the um, arguments passed 
it won't say any error because in python we, we are not mentioning the data type so same so first it is taken as 12 welcome next is as taken welcome 12 it won't say any error in the order but it will say if the argument is less required arguments means if there is two arguments two parameters in the function then two arguments sh should be passed while calling the function this is one type so another type is key arguments what is that keyword arguments will invoke the function after the parameters are recognized by their parameter names the value of the keyword arguments is matched with the parameter name and so one can also put arguments in improper order. See here, it is a name, one parameter and while calling the argument we are giving name equal to one name. We will see in the example. Say the example def print data name comma age two parameters are here then example one keyword arguments print name as name age as age when we are calling we are giving two arguments we didn't say any keyword we are passing as the required arguments here as there are two argument two parameters two arguments are given in the function call so we are getting the output okay now what is the another method is we can call by keyword name as python age is 23 we can call this so two or two values are given here another thing, we can even change the order. That means age can come first, name can come second. But it will take properly the python to the name and the 23 to the age. Even the parameters are passed in improper order, there won't be any change. Same name being a Python name is programming. As it is called using the keyword, it is taking the values properly. We can give the arguments in improper. That means we can change the order also. It, will, it won't say any error and it will take the arguments in a proper manner. Next one is default arguments. In Python, the default argument is an argument that takes a default value if no value is provided in the function call. So, here is an example. So, def print info function name, name salary. Name is given, salary is assigned with the default value 3500. While we are calling the function, here only one argument is passed. It won't say error because it is having the default value. So, it will take money 3500. Next, it is Muller 2000. That means if there is default value, but the argument is passed means this value is overwrite by the, or this value will override the default value. We will see now. Can you see this? Mining 3500, mother 2000. 
So what is the use of uh, default value means think that there is no value just like it is a parameter function. Here we are giving two values as it is two parameters we are giving two values it won't say any error. But when you call with one parameter it will say error. We will check. See here there is no error because two parameters are given. Okay. Now if I ask this line to print. Previously it printed because there is a default value in the salary parameter. But here only one argument is given but the function is having two parameters. Say it won't execute. Can you see the difference? First line is executed but the second line is not executed. It is saying one required positional argument is missing. So this is the use of default argument. Now it won't say any error. Is it clear children? Next one is variable length argument. What is this? In some instance, you might need to pass more arguments than you have already been specified. Going back to the function to redefine it, it can be a tedious process. Variable length arguments can be passed, can be used instead. What they want to say is, see here, sum three arguments, print sum of three numbers, but here when the parameter is passed, it is more than three. If it is so, surely it will say the error. To avoid this, we can use a variable length argument method like function print info numbers with the star symbol. We don't know how many numbers we are going to give. So we are taking in for loop for n, n, n o s print n. Then while passing we are giving two numbers, it is printing two numbers. While we are passing giving three numbers, it is giving three numbers. Shall we check with the example? So this is the example, print sum, here it is 3, here is 3. It is a normal function with 3 arguments called, here 3 parameters. If I run it, it won't say any error. So we will run this program. As it is 3 numbers, 5, 10, 15 sum of the three numbers it is summed and it is 30. It's, so it's normal it won't say any error. Instead of three if I pass four arguments it will surely say a error. Yes only three positional arguments but we are given four. This is the error. But there may be some situation. So how to handle this? So only we are jumping to variable length argument method. So def print numbers star numbers for n n numbers print n written print in two values 1 2 printing three values. So two values is printed three values also printed. So at run time we can give any number of arguments as this is a easiest method to handle many arguments. In the book we are asking to self evaluate to print three names with the mala kala bala. So we will see the program with three names how to do this
same program and while calling we can give just the name because as we know python is not declaring the variable type data type so it will easily take if i give one two it will print one two if i give two name it will give the two names so first two numbers three numbers then two name three name so nothing change in the program only while passing the arguments we are changing the values is it clear children so you have learned four argument types so required arguments or the arguments passed to a function in correct positional order keyword arguments will invoke the function after the parameters are recognized by their parameter names default argument is an argument that takes a default value if no value is provided in the function call variable length arguments pass more arguments than have already been specified required you have to give the required parameter if it is 2 we have to give 2 if it is 3 we have to give 3 what about keyword if there is a keyword we can call by the keyword even we can change the order as we are taking the keyword so no problem default argument as default value is given in the parameter while passing the argument we can skip that value it won't say any error variable length argument it's a different procedure here we can change the number of arguments calling as 2 3 4 5 is it clear children thank you have a good day